Hey there guys, so welcome back from the holiday season. I'm here with a thought of the day which is triggered by this book, Lifespan by David Sinclair. He's a researcher that looks into um, creating substances, genetics uh, to make our life not only longer but to make us age better, uh, to be more productive even in an extended lifespan. I thought, what does this actually mean for our development cooperation? Um, one thing he cites in the book is some research that uh, proves that the older generation, at least in the United States, has actually caught on with using technology. There's no, no more age gap, even though people don't really perceive it like that. And for example, as he says here, hiring managers hardly bother to hide their prejudices towards older people. They view older workers as more likely to be sick, slow working and incapable of handling new technologies. This is not really true. If it ever was, it's not true anymore. There's a research that's here also cited by the Wharton Center for Human Resources. Uh, the Peter Capelli, who is a director there, says every aspect of job performance gets better as we age. Um, they investigated the stereotypes that often surround older workers and Capelli says I thought the picture might be more mixed, but it isn't the juxtaposition between the superior performance of older workers and The discrimination against them in the workplace just really makes no sense at all Now this is very important because I think with the com with the focus that we have in development cooperation on on uh, discrimination in the one, on the one hand, gender and um, social strata and also youth, um, we should actually look into what it would actually mean, especially also for the younger generation, if we would change and work towards policies that keep the um, discrimination of older people in, on the workplace in the workplace not from happening. We need policies that retain people from at the workplace. We don't want people to retire at the age of 50. We need their expertise because what actually happens is um, we all know that but even here Sinclair writes that countries, development con developing countries stagnate because they don't innovate and they don't realize their human capital, um, not because there aren't enough jobs. And in order to realize your human capital, you need to retain the older generation in the job because they need to convey the knowledge. What we're doing in development cooperation is a whole lot of uh, knowledge transfer, which is we, we get stuck in using technologies, uh, share fairs and all that. But what we actually need is we need people to stay on the job to work with the younger people to show them how it's done. Yeah, this is something that has happened in some developed countries as well where you had a sweep with young people coming on to construction sites for example and the, uh, the older guys were sent into retirement and then a couple of years later on they were brought in as sort of temporary workers to just hang around and show the young guys how to actually uh, build a wall to set up the steel cast and so forth. This is what we need. 